The reason why we have a much better handle on crime now is because we have trained the police to be police, not social workers. It's not their job. Not educators. It's not their job. Uh, to a degree, not even role models. They have to be like Sergeant Joe Friday out there. They don't have time to sit down and have a cup of coffee and nosh on what's taking place because we have turned the police department into a reactive agency. They're not proactive. So they're racing around going from one 911 call to another 911 call. Now, that's not the kind of policing I like, but that's just the way it is. So if the cops are going to be responsive, they can't always sit down and try to figure out who's right, who's wrong. So their job is lock everyone up, take them into the who's gal, the cop shop, and let a judge figure it out at arraignment. Who should be released? Who should be incarcerated? Who should be given bail? Who should be remanded to jail? That's good policing when you have limited resource. And with the recessionary times we're in and no longer any stimulus money to keep cops on the payroll, with less cops, it enables you to do more. So I think that's why at this point we're still able to keep the crime down significantly in a time of recession. But we can only hold out for so much time as we have less and less police and more and more people taking advantage of the criminal opportunities that are before them. Absolutely. Uh, The better educated you are, it just means you have an opportunity to become a uh, more well-heeled criminal white collar criminal with a number two pencil and rip off everybody by going to Wall Street where the banks are too big to fail. And then we bail you out. So instead of doing triple life without parole for sticking a gun in somebody's back and robbing them for $25, you robbed them for $25 million. But you know something? At least you can read the Wall Street Journal, right? (laughs) Isn't that an advantage in life? No, in reality, it's the basic ability to take care of yourself and for those that you have responsibilities of. So learning what life is about. Now, nowadays the pension is to have you earn an academic diploma. Most people that I have ever met, including myself, because I don't have a diploma, I got kicked out of high school, are not gonna qualify for an academic diploma. They're not gonna go on to college. They're not gonna get a BS or whatever that is. Uh, or, in fact, uh, magna cum laude, because some of them are going to major in having a 44 magnum in their hand. So they need to be taught skills. It's called technical high school. It's called, in middle school, finding out if their adaptability is in the academic world or it's that they're thoracic and that they like to work with their hands and they'd like to learn a trade. And then giving them the opportunity to do what it is that they desire to do. Even charter schools nowadays, as much folks, charter schools is the answer. You know, it's more focused, it's more disciplined, it gives the child a better opportunity in the belly of the beast. There's not one charter school in America that's devoted to teaching technical skills. So is everybody going to be a white collar worker? Is everybody going to be a, a go to Wall Street and become a thief at a financial institution or a bank and then tell us how they should reward themselves with a bonus because they work so hard robbing us morning, noon and night with derivatives and subprime mortgages and giving out loans to people who have no income, no jobs, no credit. I know that's wrong. You know that's wrong. But hey, they're smarter than us. They're brighter than us. They went to Harvard. They went to Yale. They went to the London School of Economics. They went to Wharton, the business school. School, Ufa, to all of them. Send them to Gitmo, lock them up. That's right, since we're clearing them out of terrorists, Al Qaeda nutniks, right, and Taliban wannabes, why don't we put all the white collar criminals over there in Gitmo?